going on? Okay, I'm Joanna Stern, and I'm a puppy spy. I'm not proud, but when I'm not home, this drop cam pro that's recording me right now is pointed at my dog. And then through the app, I watch him to make sure he hasn't pooped on the carpet or, you know, gone out to have some fun. Then last week, I began having serious doubts about my surveillance, I mean, furvalence system. Yes, I just said that. Nest, the Google-owned company that bought Dropcam last year, released this, the $200 Nest Cam. It has a 1080p camera, improved night vision, and because even our webcams need to be slimmer, a new design. Hello? Test one, two. So does this Nest Cam now make my old drop cam look like the dog poop? And in a crowded market of do-it-yourself security cameras, is it the best one to buy? The new Nest Cam and the Drop Cam Pro look like they are straight out of a before and after weight loss ad. That's not a reason to upgrade, but the new stand is actually very useful. It now has a built-in magnet so you can stick it to your fridge, and it also rotates easier. Nest improved the design of its app too, and I really prefer it to the others. But the big difference is in picture quality, right? Well, sort of. Here's what I found out very quickly. A 1080p versus a 720p camera makes very little difference if you're just watching your pet, especially when the camera is five to 10 feet away and you view it on your phone. The higher resolution makes sense though if you're using it as a security camera to catch the bad guys. On a high resolution computer screen, you can see the difference. Take this shot of me as a fake burglar 15 feet away from the camera. With the Nest Cam, I was able to zoom in and see the intruder's face slightly better, at least compared to a 720p camera like the Drop Cam Pro and the $200 Simply Cam. And when the lights go out, Nest's night vision footage is crisper and objects are easier to make out. The speaker on the Nest, which lets you use your phone like a walkie-talkie, is also louder than the others. Step away from the Nest Cam. But where Nest could use some help is with motion detection notifications. I still get alerted sometimes when my puppy walks across the apartment, and I get the same alert when that burglar takes my computer monitor. SimplyCam is better at pet detection, and it even lets you register your face so you don't get alerts about yourself, although it doesn't always work very well. So we're sticking with the Dropcam Pro. I just don't need the extra resolution to spy on this little guy. But if you're in the market for one of these, the new Nest Cam is the leader of the pack. The biggest downside is the $10 a month subscription fee, just like the Drop Cam, which you have to pay to be able to rewind and review the footage. It can quickly add up, but for some of us, the price is worth the peace of mind.